Chris Keith. Hello. Good evening. Oh, good evening. All right, you are all set. You can Chris begin Keith. when you're ready. Hello. Okay. Good evening. Um, all right, is everybody here? Do, I, uh, do we have everybody we need? Yes. Okay, uh, just for the record, uh, I will call a Congress Zoning Board uh, meeting to uh, order. Uh, and uh, I do not have any of the minutes of last month's meeting. I don't know if anybody else does, so I can't approve it. Um, and obviously everybody knows their own fire exits, where they're located. <coughs> At this time here, I'd like to have uh, Kerry take the roll call. Bob Crow? Yeah. Mike New? Here. Russ Lockleade? Present. Keith Cloutier? Here. Ed Iannotti? Here. Okay, so that gives me a total of five. And yes. Mike New. Yeah, Mike's, Mike, Mike was in the attendance. Okay. Okay, so we... Let the record reflect we have five members present, uh, so we can conduct business. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'd like to start off with the applications of uh, presented. I guess uh, that's what we have, am I right? Since I don't have an agenda here. Okay, um, so I had emailed you everything. Do you have the ratification for the town of Coventry? as the owner of Watershed Solo Development as the applicant. And also um, under old business, the applicant of Gail McHugh and Daryl Moore, the Horn and Cauldron Church has been continued until April 6, 2022. Okay, April 6, 2022, okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion. We ratify the decision for the uh, Watershed Program. And second. Work. Second. Okay. Uh, who's that? The second, Keith or Mike? Mike. 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 Mike New. Okay. Russ made the motion. Seconded by Mike New. All those. In, uh, I got to do an individual uh, vote. I guess no. I can do it all together. Yeah. Uh, right. All those in favor of aye, say aye. 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 All right. So that's all five votes. And is there any nays? No nays. So I take it that. Decision has been run for. What else do you have, Kevin? Uh, nothing else. Just moving along to the old business, uh, new business. Okay, if you can read. Uh, do we need to approve? Do we need to we need approve to... the minutes from last last week? Uh, uh, Bob last said week. he doesn't have a copy, which they were emailed uh, Thursday, uh, Monday. So. He said he yeah, can't I, I, got I don't have it. It could be in your email. But. I'm going to have an lamp so it didn't show it. And then it didn't show it on the uh, Planning Commission recessions. There's only but I didn't get it on that either. Um, Mike, Terry, you, you, you were... Forward? I can't forward because I'm not at work. But Mike, um, you and Bob were on the same email. Is it correct? Yeah, let me see if I can forward it to him. Okay, thank you. Or, or <clears throat> let's can, why don't we continue if that makes sense? And uh, at the end, if we can do ratify at the end, if it's we can, if, or we can, we can approve it next month. Okay, so you want me to read the old, the new business in? If you would, please. The owner applicant is Roberto and Cindy Flores. The location is AP 16, lot 126, 1 Whittier Drive. Zone is R20. Applicants are seeking a dimensional variance to construct a 13 by 23 addition to be utilized as an in-law with the northeast corner of the addition being 17 feet from the property line where 22 is required. Okay, I'm looking for that now. And that is, I have the scan of the 20-22-0-3-0-1. Uh, so, right, 160 Shady Valley. No, that's not it. 
It's not included in that, right, Kevin? Um, I sent each application as its own individual document. So if you got that one, the other ones should be there. Okay, I'll look at the next one. Okay. Just the same thing twice. I got one shady, 160 Shady Valley Road twice. It could be different documents. <clears throat> okay. Mike, can you look at your email and see how it was sent? I just got to find it. Yeah. Um, 21 yeah. Mile Road. Oh, 21 and that's my road. That's not it. Okay. It's going to be the next one. It's going to be the next one. Okay. Okay, anyways, I looked at this one here quickly and I saw, uh, just going from memory, carry on this, you had some of the uh, people checked off and the names were were put on out at John Franklin Road, no? And uh, I couldn't understand on the list of, of butters uh, why some of the names were crossed out and the addresses were. And new names were put in. Because I have to verify the abutters list and sometimes the GIS map is not updated. So we have to make sure we send it to the most recent owners. And that's why I cross out the old owners and write in the names of the new, the new property right. owners. Right, I saw the new names, but I didn't see the new addresses. There isn't a new address. That's the new owners of that particular property. Some of them had the same address. Other ones had the, the address also crossed out. Right, because if a person bought a property, but they reside somewhere else, that's where the address would change. Okay, wouldn't we have, wouldn't that address be forwarded to us or put in a list? I, I don't know how to answer your question. What happens is if, if someone buys a property in Coventry, but they still live in West Warwick, both addresses are going to show up. Right, but we have no address. We just have the, we just were, when we got the list, we only got the individual's name with no address. Then they, they live at the address that is shown so, on that list. Who, which one are no, you looking at? You, you, cro you crossed it out. Okay. Let's find to out update one. the name. Um, I just sent you the documents to your email. You just sent it to me? Yeah, I sent uh, I sent the minutes from last month and I sent the uh, the documents that show all the different uh, subjects for tonight. Okay, thank you. Sony board documents, Michael. Yep. Okay. Um, we're doing which one now? The Whittier Drive. Which one? Whittier Drive. Whittier Drive. It's got to be the. Uh, let's see if it's this one. It's John Franklin, so that's not it. Yeah, what do you drive? I think it was the third one in 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 the uh, in third the pile there. there. That's twenty one mile road, third one. That's mile road.
Let me try this one here a second. Oh, okay, man. I see what you're saying. Third one in. Yep. Yeah, when I when I when I printed them out, they were it was a third one in. Three on four on Franklin Road. I got. No, there should be one more. You mentioned them all, Bob, but the one we're looking for. There should be one left. 21 mile road, everything but. Okay, one will you drive. I just got the staff report on that. That's the one you want. Yeah. Okay. And that's putting a 13 by. <clears throat> Edition. Yeah, this is the in law one. Okay, now you could, did you send me the list of uh, abutters? Yes, the whole application was sent to everyone. Mike, did you send me over the list of butters? I didn't. I sent you. I believe so. I believe it should be in that package I sent you. Let me. I got. I got a staff report. Yeah, that's one of them. I sent you two different emails. All right. Let me see. Okay. Let me check the other email. Okay. Uh, hang on. I got it here for you. Hang on, I'm, I'm trying to get back to it. Okay, let me see if I got another one here. Bob, it's John Stubbley here. Um, if I can, I'm just going to share my screen with the list of abutters. Um, oh, so yeah. can see it, and then we can. Um, I'm about to send it to him. So we can move forward. In, with in parallel screen. to that, John. I'm send it to him. Yep. One second. Bob, can you see that? The, the list? Okay, no, nope, I'm going back. I'll go back to see what you got here. Zoning board. Yeah. Uh, I got the one from Mike. And that's it. It's I, on I, the screen. I just sent you another one too with, with the abutters. But John's got mm -hmm. it on the screen. If you want to go to the screen. Meeting. Okay. Test one. No, I got. And I might really. I hate to say it, I'm in 2013. How do I get up to the current? Bob, can you see the abutters on the screen right now? No, I don't. I'm unfortunately I'm away. There's no, no, on the screen, on the screen at the meeting. Go to the Zoom meeting, Bob. Okay, hey. yep, okay, yep, I do, yep, okay. There you yep. go, right there. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. New zoo. Oh boy. Hello. Okay. I get this here now. All right. All right. Continue on with this one anyway. 
I've, I've already wrote it into the record. So perhaps you want the applicants to explain their project. Uh, yes, yeah, so the applicants, so I can see them, swear them in. Uh, Cindy and Roberto, whenever you're ready, you can. Uh... Okay, we are here. We're here. Okay. Uh, Cindy and Roberto, uh, please give me a full name and address. Cindy Flores, One Whittier Drive, Coventry, Rhode Island. Roberto Flores, uh, One Whittier Drive, Coventry, Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, you swear to tell the whole, I ask you to raise your right hand, please. You swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth in front of the board? Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay. And your full address is? One Whittier Drive, Coventry, Rhode Island. Okay. Thank you. Now, explain to me in your own words what you'd like to do. So our house is a ranch. To the mm -hmm. um, far right, we have a den. So we want to add in addition, make an addition. I don't know if in the picture you can see there's like a slab that's basically kind of where the addition would go. Yeah. And in the den that we have there now, we're basically going to swap it and make that a bedroom. Okay. And then um, I'm going to move the den to the other room. Okay. Um, Okay, so you're gonna put, what size is the addition? 30, 30. 30 by 26. 23. 23, I'm sorry, 13 by 23. Uh, 13 by 22. Yeah. Okay, I'm just having problems here trying to. Okay. Okay, now on this one here, uh, the this is gonna be an in-law. How I didn't quite understand the plans. How is the people how is your is your in-laws, your your parents living there? No, no. What um what we have is it's my, just my husband and I. We have an eleven year old daughter, and we have a an adult, thirty three year old daughter with a disability. Okay. And so we want to. With COVID, we learned that there we have no separation right now, and it's not good for her to get sick. You know, the the rest of us are in a healthier mode, so we realized that we need to kind of give her her own space. So then she's the one that's basically going to be there in that, in that area. Okay, so your 33 year old daughter is gonna be at that location. Yes, she lives with us now. She's always lived with us. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, the access to her unit is gonna be through your house or is it gonna be from the outside? So actually both. Because she'll have, um, in the addition, we're planning on putting in a sliding door there. So yep. she'll have access to go out, but then she also have, will have access to come into the rest of the house. Okay, so the sliding door is facing where? The, uh, the backyard? Uh, yes, to the side. To the side. Okay. Okay. Um, and we're thinking, we're thinking that we're probably going to put a door also facing the driveway to make it easier for her to go in and out. All right, so you're going to put two doors. Correct. One is sliding door and one uh, a 36 inch door. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I got a couple questions, Bob, if you don't mind. Please. Okay. Uh, are you adding a bathroom? Yes. But okay, not so to the existing addition. 
the bathroom is going to be in the den. We have a den um, there, and okay. that's where the bathroom is going to go. The addition okay. uh, is going to have, so. go ahead. But you're adding another bathroom besides the one you have. Correct. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Now, are there sewers there, or is this a septic system? Septic. Uh, okay, ba so. Bathroom doesn't doesn't count for that though. It it's bedrooms. It, it, it it's bedrooms. If you add bedrooms, that's when you got to worry about expanding the septic system. Um, but but uh, they already the person already lives there. I think there's already a bedroom. I'm not sure. It counts. Yes. I, I get your question though. I, I see where you're going with it. Yeah, I don't. I I, I understand that that's the, the rule, but it doesn't make sense. But yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. What he's asking is, you having the septic system updated? No, I called D DEM and told them what we were doing, and they told me that I didn't have to have anything updated because we we were not adding a bedroom. But you're adding the bathroom. I totally yes. understand. Well, you you got to yes. be adding a bedroom because you're in the apartment you're putting in for her. That's going to have a bedroom, isn't it? It's already existing bedroom. There's a in, in, in next to, in other uh, words, the the last room is a bedroom. Yeah, she's just going to move from one room to another, guys. It's not really adding a bedroom. Right. The other right. room is going to become a den or something. So, like are you going to add a kitchen? Yes, we adding a, a kitchen uh, with a sink on it, of course, uh, and that's where she's going to have like a living room, kitchen attached, pretty much. Okay, we would have to have a statement from DEM saying that the new plans are approved with the existing septic system. Um, Bob, it's John Stoli, if I may. Um, because the plans at the building permit stage, um, the plans are going to show that there's no additional bedroom. So if there's no bedroom being built, then DEM doesn't even have to get involved at all. Yes, but our, uh, our building officials, because we're putting in another kitchen and we're putting up another and we're making the room there, um, you're saying there's no physical addition being added to the house? There's an addition being added to the house. However, um, if you can just give me one moment. So can I shed some light on this? So did they take one of the bedrooms and turn it into a den? And now they're going to turn that back into a bedroom and they're going to make, make the, uh, put a kitchen in that involved with where the den used to be and just add on to the right-hand side of that. I, you know, it's like, it's a, was it a three bedroom ranch? And now it's still technically going to be a three bedroom ranch except it's going to have an extra bathroom and a, and a uh, uh, the kitchen. It's going to have an extra bathroom and kitchen. Right. So I, have, I from, from I the end, thought, it's still a three bedroom ranch. It's still a three bedroom ranch with two kitchens or two with two kitchens. Yeah, I guess right. it's because the root, because the root. what we'd have to do is once this individual is no longer living there, this would have to revert back and the kitchen would be have to torn out to a single family home. John, is that, is that the case? I thought it was just a, bed, a bedroom that, that uh, flipped that lever for a septic system upgrade. Just a bedroom, right? That's the, that's the law. Well, that's DM, but the town, oh. once they are in law units, uh, we put the stipulation on that so that they don't become rental units. That once that individual is no longer there, uh, then it reverts back to a single family home. Got it. Yeah. Right. Right. So, Mike, in answer to your question, yes, um, it has to do with the number of bedrooms. That's when it, it kicks in with DEM. As far as what you said, Bob, yes, the, the ordinance states that the special use permit shall only be valid for um, three years, um, I believe. Isn't it, John, and they're supposed to come back? Uh, Not, I don't think, because this is handicapped. No, yeah. we, we, don't, we don't do the three-year rule. It doesn't apply anymore. No. Okay. Well, it doesn't apply anymore. 
Wow, that is something new to me. When did this happen? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't apply to this it's, one because it's, this it's, is. It's been that way for a few years now. Nobody advised us or the board. If I may, uh, we can put a condition on the decision that it expires upon the sale of the property, that it does not run with the property. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I, I so, can deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Is the individual okay with this? Though? I want to ask them up front, right up front. Uh, yeah, we don't have a problem with that. I, we're not putting like a huge kitchen. We're just putting us, you know, a, a sink for her. It'll have a small refrigerator. It'll have a small electric stove. That's that's it. I think it's terrific. And don't get me wrong. It just is in order to keep it from turning it into an apartment upon sale or you're no longer using it for a family member like you are it would have to revert back to a single family home. Is that okay with you? So just so I understand, to revert back to a family home, all that would need to happen is to take out the kitchen? Yeah, take out the kitchen and that's it. So that could okay. be, a, that could become to be like a son room or whatever the case may be later on, correct? That could be because what? It could be just a, a basically another den. Uh, by yeah, you, could, you could turn into anything you want. Okay. We Almost. just have to take just out not the a kitchen. kitchen. Okay, yeah, yeah that's just not, not a kitchen, and it wouldn't be available for rent or anything like that. that that's not yeah. the intent. That's not the intention. That's here. Not I know it's not your intention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but unfortunately, if somebody else took over or something else happens, we just never know what's going to happen in the future. And this is just one of the documents and requirements. For the zoning board has requested in the past. Okay, yeah, we know a problem with okay. that. Okay, all right, I'm going to turn this back over to the rest of the members of the zoning board, see if they have any further questions on it. I'm good. All set for me, Bob. Okay. All uh, set, Bob. Keith, all set? All right. Yes, sir. Mike, okay. Mike, Russ. Yep. Yep. Good. All set. Um, if I may, Mr. Chair, um, at the risk of complicating things just a, a bit more, the yep. application is also request. The applicant is also requesting a dimensional variance because the proposed addition will be 17 feet from the property line, where 22 feet is required. I just think that the the board that I'm that glad you brought that up, but I have absolutely no problems with the 17 feet only. Right. I don't know if any other board member has any problems with that. No, no problem. No. no everything's good. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> since we've discussed this in quite length tonight, I would like to have a motion that we vote on this tonight. Mr. Uh, Chairman, do we need to see if there's any comments on this? Oh, yeah, 100% correct. We need to open this up to the public and see if there is any comments on this. Is there anybody out there that has any questions on this applications at all or any kind of comment whatsoever? Is there anybody out there? If there's anybody that would like to speak on this application, uh, you may do so by uh, using the uh, hand raise feature on Zoom. All right, Mr. Chair, it doesn't look like anybody wants to speak on this application at this time. Okay, so you got nobody out there that wants to speak. No. Okay, if there's nobody that wants to speak on this application, I'd like to have a member entertain a motion that we vote on this tonight. And I think it was uh, Keith, Keith that you said it, or Mike? Mike, Mike, so moved. Mike, second. Uh, no, made it seconded by Keith. Is that Keith? Correct. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Do we vote on this tonight? Aye. Aye. Nays? Ayes have it. Okay, I'll do a roll call on this at this time here. Keith Glutia, how do you vote on this one? I approve. Uh, what are you doing, the special use permit or the dimensional variance? Uh, let's do the special use permit and then the dimensional variance. Special use permit. I approve. You approved, you approved as, uh, with, with as presented. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, I just have a question. 
Mr. Chairman, are we yeah. putting the restriction that it expires upon the sale yes. of the property? Yeah. yeah, it's approval with stipulations. Okay, and there's two special use permits. There's one for the in-law and one for the non-conforming lot, I think, right, John? Yes. I, I think, think we can so. vote on that all as one. Yes, I just want to make sure we right. understand so, that. So it would constitute an expansion of a non-conforming structure. Right. which requires a special use permit and also a uh, special use permit is required because there's an in-law apartment, correct? Okay, so just so we're clear on that, okay. Okay, so I, I, I myself chair votes with stipulations. Russ Lockleid, how do you vote on this? Approved with stipulation. Uh, Mike New, how do you vote on this? Approved with stipulations. Okay, and I have Keith Cloutier. I'm missing one. Ed Ionati, how do you vote? Approved with stipulations. Okay, so the application is approved with stipulations of uh, special use permit. Okay, now uh, the variance. Uh, uh, well, let's vote on that. Am I correct, uh, John? Yes. Okay. Uh, I vote with, uh, with with stipulations again on that. Uh, Keith Cloutier, how do you vote? Approve with stipulations. Okay. Um, Ed Iannotti? Approve with stipulations. Russ Lockwood? Approve with stipulations. Mike New? Approved stipulations. Okay. That application is approved with stipulations. Okay, thank you very much all for that. Now, if we can open up the next application. Thank you. Thank you. The next application is Samuel Kagan. The location is AP329, lot 43, 21 mile road. The zone is R3. Applicant is seeking a special use permit to construct a 12 by 24 by 10.9 garage in the front of the property. Okay. Um, is the individual here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can I have you on the screen? Hello. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to share. Are we good now? Can you see me? I don't, yeah, we can hear you. I don't see a video. I don't see no video. I've got a hit share. Should be uh, the left hand hey. side of the screen says stop video, share video. Yeah. Stop video. Okay. I start my video and then it asks for share. There you go. We good now? Yep. Yep, you're there. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sitting in front of the council chamber right now. I didn't realize you guys weren't going to be here. So I'm working on my phone. Are we there? Hello. Yes, can you see me? Yep. Okay. I'm going to ask you to give your full name and address. My name is. I got to get out of that. My name is Samuel Kagan, 21 Mile Road, Coventry, Rhode Island. Okay. I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand so I can see you. Okay. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, in front of this board? I do. Okay, thank you. Explain to me in your own words what you'd like to do here. Um, currently, I have a home with a two-car garage adjacent, uh, attached to it. On one side of the house, I have a, uh, 
an incline, and on the other side of the house, I have a a, 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 a hill that goes down into a creek. So I have no access to the back of the house. I have a we have three automobiles in the in the family, and um, one of them has been parked in a temporary structure that's uh, off of the driveway. That's in the, 21 mile road. It's 170 feet from mile road. What I want to do is convert that temporary structure into a, a better, more secure structure because I purchased a new truck and I want to protect it from the elements and from the rodents. I don't need to have them eat all the, uh, the wiring. So I'm trying to put something in there that will protect the uh, structure and that's the only location I can put it in. Okay. Um, all right. I, I saw your plans you submitted. They look very nice over the internet, and it uh, looks like you're going to put up a nice structure. Now, the old old structure you're going to remove, correct? Pardon me. I didn't hear what you said. There was some noise in the building. The area. old structure you're going to remove. Oh, yeah. That, that comes out, and then I'm going to have to uh, prepare a foundation for it and then have a, the prefab structure dropped on it. Okay. All right. Uh, and you're going to be how far from the side lot line? Uh, we're 170 feet from Mile Road, and I think the side one is about uh, 150 to 200 feet, somewhere in that range. Okay. All right. Uh, John, the only reason why he's here is because it's going in the front yard, correct? Yes, that's correct. So um, exactly as Mr. Kagan said, he's roughly 150 feet from the side um, and 175, 75 feet from the front. So there's no need for any dimensional variance or anything like that. It's simply because the structure is going to be placed in the front yard that it triggered the need for a special use permit. Okay. There's really no other place to put it, Mr. Jim. And I went by it uh, yesterday. And uh, I mean, it where it's going to be that way, and uh, it's it, not going to be that it, much out of space. Right. Uh, I don't have any problems with it at this time. Let's see if any other, but that, that's what that was Russ Lockery, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Mike New, do you have anything on this? Uh, anybody else in the neighborhood have? Uh, garages in their front yard? I don't know. I mean, uh, most people are, are, their homes are hidden by the woods. So I've got woods that obstruct the view to the structure and to my home. So um, I don't really know what other people necessarily have in front of their property or behind it. Um, so I can't answer that. My old road's pretty unique. It's it's kind of rural, but it's not that far rural. But when you get down, there's a lot of houses you can't see from the street. They're all driveways. It's just the way it was set up years ago. Okay. Yeah, it was Audubon property that was sold out and developed. Right. Okay. Maybe uh, see if anybody from any of his neighbors have a concern. Oh. Um, Mike, okay. if I if I could answer that question for you, I just looked real quick on the GIS map and um, on Mile Road, I picked out maybe two or three other properties that seem to have accessory structures in the front yard. Okay. So it it is um, it's a normal, normal it's not unprecedented. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Okay, uh, Keith. Um, I don't have a problem, Mr. Chairman, as long as none of the neighbors do. Okay. Uh, uh, so, Russ, you already spoke, Ed Ionardi? I have no problem with it, Bob. I've been I've been by that property quite a bit, and it's um, very hilly, like behind the house and so on. And it, it is deep off the street, so I don't see any problem with it at all. Do so you feel that this would be the most viable location? Correct. For the garage. Okay. 
Let's see if there's anybody else out there that has any questions or would like to speak on this application. Is there anybody in the audience, John? Um, if anybody would like to speak again, you can uh, raise your hand at this time. It does not look like anybody wants to speak. Okay, I'd like to have a motion uh, made tonight that we vote on this tonight. Is anybody would like to make that motion? I make a motion that we vote on it this evening. Second okay, it. Ed Iannotti and seconded by Russ, I believe. Yep. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, uh, at this time here, I'd like to do a roll call vote on the application. Uh, I vote chair as uh, as to approve as presented. Uh, Ed, how do you vote? I approve as presented. As presented, Russ Lockley. Approved as presented, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Keith Cloutier. Approved as presented. Mike New. Approved as presented. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, Unless there is something else, I believe that application is approved as presented. John, do you have anything else on that? No, that's all, Mr. Chair. Okay. Okay. Kerry, can we have the next application? The next application is Chris Kutu. The location is AP 49, lot 70, 160 Shady Valley Road. Zone is RR2. Applicant is seeking a special use permit and dimensional variance to construct a 12 by 20 addition to the northeast corner of the home. Additional will be 32 feet from the property line where 50 is required. Okay, is the individual here? I am. Okay, fortunately, um, I can't see you because my phone, let's see what happens. Okay, okay, um, give your full name and address. Chris Kutu, 160 Shady Valley Road. Okay, I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand. You swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth in front of this board? I do. Okay, explain to me in own words what you'd like to do. Uh, I own 1.7 acres right on the pond. Uh, I am looking to add a 12 by 28 addition onto the gable end, uh, right hand side of, the, of a ranch. Which is just we're just reconfiguring the uh, the inside of the house, adding bigger kitchen, and uh, I think you have the plans right in front of you. Unfortunately, I do not. Okay. Uh, Terry did send me the plans. Not your fault. Not her fault. My computer's kind of messing up. Uh, John, do you can you put the plans in front of me? Yep. Just one second. Let me uh, try to get that up there. So this is the floor plan, the proposed floor plan. And this is what's existing there at the moment. So if you can see where that 12 and 20 is on the right hand side, we're basically looking to square that off and make that livable space. Okay, the pond is where? On the deck side. On the deck side. Is that space going to be a new bedroom? It's we're just enlarging the bedrooms. It's not adding. It's not adding a bedroom. Okay. Okay, uh, John. Will this need a DEM approval because of size? No. So there shouldn't be um, the need for DEM approval. They're um, far enough off of the shoreline, so there's no need for that. Um, the only thing that he'll need is, is approval from this board for the special use permit and dimensional variance. And then of course, a building permit. Okay. Does he have a state DEM approval system? 
Yes. So you just su submit us the paperwork that your system has been approved by the state of Rhode Island. Uh, you mean currently? Currently. Yeah, so it was redone in whenever the flood was. When was the flood? 2010. 2010, it was redone. It was redone. So you had a whole new septic system put in. Okay, so the paperwork, the state should have sent you something back saying it was all approved after the installer put it in. Yes. All right, you can forward that to John? Yes. Okay. Not right now. I don't have it on right now. No, I don't. Expect but I can that. get no. yeah. when you, when you yeah. get a chance. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Is uh, any other members have any questions on this? I do not. I'm good. Okay. No, it's good. Uh, I think that's Keith Cludia. I'm all set, yep. Mr. Chairman. You're all set, Russ Wackelaid. Yep, all set. Um, Ed Ionati. I'm good. Okay, at this time here, I'd like to see if there's anybody that would like to speak on this application or have any questions on the application. Is there anybody out there, John? Once again, if there's anybody that would like to speak, you can raise your hand and we'll bring you in. There is nobody that wants to speak at this time. Okay, since there is nobody that would like to speak at this time, I'd like to have a motion we vote on this tonight. So moved. And that's uh, like Mike. Mike. Second. Mike made, made the motion seconded by Keith, I believe. Yes. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. I'm going to start off with a roll call vote myself. Uh, I approve as presented with the stipulation that the uh, septic system uh, up, uh, updates have been will be issued to John uh, Studley, the uh, uh, planning assistant. All right. And um, uh, one yep. thing, Chairman, uh, Mr. Chairman, you have a special use permit and a dimensional var variance. Okay, the dimensional. A okay, let's do the special use permit first, and then we'll do the variance. The variance. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do the special use permit, and that's what I voted on to approve. Ed Ionati, how do you vote on this? I approve. Uh, Russell Arcloyd? Approve. Uh, Mike New? Approve. Keith Kalidia? Approve. Okay, special use permit is approved. Okay. Uh, the, uh, as Jane said, the variance, uh, what, what is that pertaining to, Jane? He's asking for 32 feet from the sideline where 50 is required. Okay, so he has a full 32 feet. Okay, looking at that, I did see that. And I didn't have any problems on that. John, do you have anything on that? Um, no, so I, I will say um, that uh, right. the uh, 32 feet, it's it, it didn't seem... Um, far below the standard as set by other. Okay, and the planning board also approved that, correct? Correct, they, they did forward a favorable recommendation. Okay, all right. Anybody else have any questions on that? Okay, now does anybody from the public have any questions on that? Anybody from the public, John, that would like to speak on that? No, there's nobody from the public that wants to speak on this application. Okay, I'm going to do a roll call. Uh, I'm going to ask for a, a vote on this application tonight. Do I have a, a motion made? So moved. Uh, that was Russ Lockley, I believe. Yep. Okay. Second. Second. Seconded by Keith, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay, all those say aye, aye. 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 Okay, nays. Nice hand. Okay, I can start with a roll call vote on myself. Uh, I approve as presented. Uh, Russ Lockley. Approved as presented. Keith Glutier. Approved as presented. Mike New. Approved as presented. Okay, Ed Ionati. 
approved as presented. Okay, the application is approved as presented. Is there anything else that we have? Uh, we have the application of Joshua and Lane Mays. Location of property is AP 91 lot 007, 304 John Franklin Road. Zone is RR2. Applicants are seeking a dimensional variance and a special use permit to construct a 30 by 30 by 30 garage in the front of the uh, barn in front of the property. 32 feet from side property line where 50 is required. The barn will be 30 feet in height where 19 is allowed and exceed the allowable lot coverage. Okay, so he's in front of us for location, being in the front, and he's also here for height, am I correct? Yes, and lot coverage. And lot coverage, okay. Now, what's he gonna do with all those other structures that are there? Um, maybe he can explain it better than I. Okay, is the applicant here, please? Yes. Okay. Uh, Please, please give your full name and address. Joshua Mays, 304 John Franklin Road. And okay, I'm here Joshua. with my dad, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Is he also going to give uh, testimony on this? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask him to give his full name and address. My name is Stephen Mays, 65 Hill Farm Camp Road, Coventry. Okay. I'm going to ask you both to raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, not to put the truth in front of this board? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, in your own words, explain to me how you'd like to put this, I guess, garage up. Yeah, so we're building a, uh, it's, it says barn, it's a very small barn. Um, we, the plan is to store our wooden boat in the, in the garage. It'll be more like a two car size garage. <clears throat> and it'll be, although it's technically in the front yard, it's really if you, if you look at the property, it's more like on the side of the lot. My, my driveway goes way down off the front. So it actually drives down the front of the house. And then on the far right is the spot where the barn is going to be. All right. Is it going to have access onto the main road? It will not. It will, it will have access to the driveway, which has access to the main road. But the barn itself will not have access to the main road. The barn itself will not. So you'll keep those trees in the front? Yes, the trees will stay. Trees will stay. Okay, now. What are you going to do with all the other structures? Yeah, the other structures. So I have, um, there's a scoreboard shed, which is part of a basketball court that in all these were pre-existing when I bought the house. I, just, I recently bought the house in August. Um, okay. So the basketball shed is none of them are big enough to restore a boat. That's what it really boils down to. Um, there is a small shed in the back that is going to be used for just storage. Uh, my own personal storage. And then there's a smaller shed up in the front that is used for like yard equipment and things like that. Okay, now, um, so you're not gonna be able to put that yard equipment in the new barn and eliminate that smaller shed? Not with a wooden boat in it. <laughs> not with a wooden boat in it, okay. Okay, and you have the cemetery too, correct? That's correct, yep. Okay, and obviously you can't build on that. Uh, right. Um, okay, now I've been past there a couple of times. I, I don't know why. I just thought there was more than that and outhouses. I thought there was more structures there. There well, is the house that has an attached garage. There yeah. is a, like I said, a, a, a shed that's used for mo mostly yard equipment, like my tractor and things like that, pools, the pool supplies and things. Um, during the off season. And then there's a, sm a very, very small shed. I don't even know if you would call it a shed in the front of the pool. That is, it, does, it doesn't even really have room for any storage. It holds the chemicals and things like that. In the back, the very back of the lot, there is a, I guess it's a shed as well. It has a garage door on it, but it, it's, it's a shed. Um, and we'll probably store, my stepson has a He's got like a little convertible car that he, he uses and that's where he kind of would park it during the off season. Um, and then there is a small, um, I guess you call it a shed as well, but like, like yeah, it's almost like a playhouse was built at some point for kids um, with just a regular door. There's a carport um, that's next to that. And then, as I said, the scoreboard shed. Okay. What I'm suggesting is, is there any of these things that we can, uh, kind of clean up the area with so it all, you know, 
looks nice and neat by us yeah. saying that uh, it's a good idea to put that new uh, barn in, the 30 by 30. And I'm not against we... any of that. However, you can't see any of it, even driving up to the front of the house. None of it is viewable. It's not viewable from the street. It's not viewable from the driveway. It's not viewable unless you literally walk out to the back of the house. It's completely blocked by the structure of the house. All right. But I'm just trying to use reasons for approving the new structure. You know, because that's kind of like it's in the front yard, you know, um, you know, uh, it almost, you know, I know it, it, it almost seems like that should go in another space. And I'm trying to figure out why I want to keep all those other buildings and approve this new one, too. Maybe you may I say you something? Know. You may I sure. say something? Sure. So the pre a previous owner, we're not sure which one, but a previous owner had excavated a space. And that's the space we wanted to use because there's an enormous amount of boulders on that property, large boulders. Uh, big enough that it would take a very large machine to move them. So the only other thought we we had was to get it maybe closer to the cemetery in that area, but the amount of excavation work would make it prohibitive cost-wise to try to move it over, to get it away from the property line and move it over a little bit. Also, it would put it more in the front yard of the house. Um, accessing from around the back, um, probably not a good utilization of space back there. It would require building a driveway uh, down into the backyard to access it from the front, drive all the way down the back. Um, and that's only accessible certain times a year that you can even drive down there because of either ice, snow, um, the, the lawn gets wet and it gets difficult to drive over because it's all, it, the, the lawn is all manicured. It's all taken care of in the backyard. It's a very nice looking piece of property. Okay. All right. Um... Okay, at this time here, I'm going to uh, see if the board members have any questions. I don't have any questions at this point, Bob. I'd like to understand if there's any neighbors that would have any any concerns. Okay. All right. Mr. Chairman, I have a question. So coming in from John Franklin Road, when you make the, for the sake of argument, you take the big, you, you go to the left at the fork, as we used to refer to it, um, which is kind of the end of the road back in the day before Cassisi built up all uh, the front of it. But so you're going to come straight down that driveway for looks like a couple of hundred feet. And then the house would be technically on your left. Is that correct? That's correct. And then past the house on the right is the location for the barn. OK, so it's going to be that far down. OK, I'm looking Almost at the to the end of the property line. OK, which, uh, John, this would be the the orange square that's on our paperwork. So um, you're, you're looking at the aerial view of the property, correct? Can you see that? Yes. That picture, yeah, the aerial yeah. view, right. Yeah, so that orange square is actually uh, a cemetery. And oh, that, okay. What so they're proposing is, to that. I'm sorry? Where would the barn go in relation to the cemetery? So uh, it would be like on the on the picture, it would be below that. Okay. The property line. That's fine. I have no problems with that. Okay. Uh, any other board members have any questions? No, well, why, why do we need to have it so tall? Yeah. And that's a good question. So I'll, I'll answer that. So there's two things. First of all, um, the property has been excavated to a point where if you were to take a, a survey, and I just did it with Google Earth, so it's semi-accurate, but it's almost 18 feet. The property behind Josh's house, or technically in front of it, if you want to look at it that way, is 18 feet higher than where the barn is going to go. So that will obstruct a lot of the view of the barn from the neighbor, not to mention the fact that it's pretty well treed there. But the height is a result of the second floor uh, being a storage facility for primarily me. Right. I, yeah, I moved I moved from a four bedroom house in Warwick to an 800 square foot cottage on Johnson's Pond. We were feeling the pain a little bit, so we thought it would be appropriate to um, make a little room upstairs in the barn. What type of utilities? Okay. Do you oh, that, that opens up a whole different ball game. So I think it's going to have. Plumbing and everything else? No, 
No, I just asked absolutely that question. not. No, no. Strictly what, what storage. Of, so it's just going to be a set of stairs going upstairs, and that's it. That's it. Well, hopefully with a pull string so we can turn the light on. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> But this is but, not going to be any residence whatsoever. No, no, absolutely no, no, not. No. no, there's no plumbing going in. Uh, there's electricity going in. Um, th that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see if there's anybody out there that would like to speak on this application. Is there anybody out in the audience, John? If anybody would like to speak, you can raise your hand at this time and we'll let you in. It does not appear that anybody would like to speak. Okay. At this time here, now has that garage been staked out so we can see right where it's gonna go? Um, so I do have some markers set up because we had some people give us quotes on building it. Um, they're not 100% accurate as where they're gonna be, um, but they're very close. And you, if you drive to okay. the property, it's really obvious where it's going to go because the ground is sculpted out where it's heading. Okay. What we're going to need is that staked out because we got to know exactly where that's going to go. Okay. We can stake it out. Okay. And I'd like to go out and take a look at that. Now, put some, make the, when you do the stakes, put them bright uh, green or red, all four corners. Okay. 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 Did any other members of the board have any questions on that or anything else? I'd like to go out and take a look at this location. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Keith, how do you feel on this? I'd like to take a look at it too, Mr. Chairman. I, I say we table it till next month. Okay. All right. I have a motion made that we continue this to next month after we've had a chance to take a look at it. Uh, do I have a second on that? A second. Okay, Ed. I know he's made a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nays. Ayes have it. We thank you all very much. And we, we gotta do it. Do we have to do a date certain? Uh no, I don't think we have to do a date certain, just as long as the individual stakes it out by next week. Next week? Okay. Okay. And then any, any, dogs on the, any dogs on the property? Anything we should be concerned about when we approach? <laughs> there is a dog, but he doesn't leave the house. Okay. All right. So he's he may inside. bark when you show up, but that's it. Just don't bring mine. Is he, is he chained up outside? No. no, 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 no. He doesn't live outside. He's only inside. He's only inside. Okay. That was a very good question. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, John, did you have anything on this? Um, I would like to add one more thing. I do have pictures um, that I can show if that would maybe help us bring this to a conclusion tonight. I don't know if that's possible or not, but I do have pictures of the property. If you want to go out and see it, that's perfectly fine, but I do I'd have like pictures. I'd like to go out and see it. I'd okay, like that's fine. Okay. But if you've got any pictures of what you're going to put up or anything else, uh, that'd be great to submit to the uh, administration. Okay. Okay. All right. Kerry, do we have anything else? Uh, that's all we have. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and go back, and I'm not doing too good on what Mike sent over to me. Uh, if I lose you, give me a call. See if we're going to prove. Uh, okay, I just gained on that one. Huh. So the only thing we're missing right now is approval of last month's minutes, right? That's all you want to really do? That's yeah, I think we can approve that next month. Can't, yeah. Is that okay? I got no All problem. Right. All right, I got no problems with that. You know, unless somebody else does. Is, uh, is that no. okay with the rest of the board? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, at this time here, I'd like to... Uh, motion to uh, adjourn. Motion Second. to adjourn made by Russ, seconded by... Keith. Keith. Who's that? Whoever. Keith. Chief? Okay, right. Russ, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Nays, ayes have it. Okay, thank you all very much for, uh, on my part, kind of difficult meeting doing it with the phone. And uh, I appreciate everybody's help here. <laughs>